When I was in elementary school, I would make blatant ripoffs of my favorite magical girl shows by taking my friends, assigning each of us a color, and drawing us fighting the forces of evil. So today, I'm going to make a blatant ripoff of my favorite magical girl show by taking my friends, assigning each of us a color, and drawing us fighting the forces of evil. You may remember in my video on self-inserts that I introduced you to this character, Cure Comet. Well, a pretty cure isn't a pretty cure without their team, right? So why don't we design the other members of their magical girl group while I give you tips and tricks for designing your own magical girls. First, what makes a good magical girl team? Why do designs like this look appealing and designs like this don't? You may notice that all of the Pretty Cure teams have a theme. Kira Kira is sweets and animals, Princess Precure is fantasy, Sweet Precure is music. But for most of these teams, the main thing drawing them together is the unity in their outfits and color palettes. All of them have a main color and a set amount of accent colors that make them look coherent even when other parts of their outfit differ, like their hair. Most Pretty Cures have one main color and one or two accent colors, and anything more tends to clash and get difficult to control. Another important aspect of magical girl designs is silhouette. The easiest way to create a magical girl's unique silhouette is through her hair and outfit, but it's also important to make sure that all of the girls in your team have a similar amount of complexity when it comes to both color and silhouette. It definitely looks pretty strange when one member of the team has a more unique silhouette than the others, especially if she isn't the main character or leader of the team. You can get away with this in some instances, especially if you want a character to stand out, think Sailor Moon. But when it comes to pretty cures, most girls in a group share similar amounts of detail in their silhouette, like having hair with similar volume. You also want to keep in mind that you can build interesting silhouettes in ways other than with an interesting hairstyle. One example I can think of that doesn't do this great is Doki Doki Precure, where three of the five girls have a high ponytail. There are other ways to give your characters interesting silhouettes, like through the shape of their dress, like in Princess Precure. So, keeping unity, color, and silhouette in mind, let me show you how I made three different magical girls. Since we're building a team around Cure Comet, I figured it would be the most interesting to give them two teammates who represented the Earth and Ocean respectively, since they represented space. This first magical girl that I'm designing has actually existed for a while now. She and the original version of Comet were both designed by me and my friend in 2020 or 2021. And she's supposed to be like the exact opposite to Comet. Comet is very lean while she's very curvy. Comet is very sarcastic and off-putting while she's very friendly and approachable. Her name is Cure Orchid, and when she's not a magical girl, she is performing as an idol. She's very neat and graceful, her design is perfectly symmetrical. Even though she isn't the leader, Cure Orchid is definitely who you think of when you hear about these three. She's pretty, she's kind, she's an idol, overall the perfect poster child for the team. When it comes to her design, she's supposed to be the warm, graceful aura to Comet's sharp and powerful aura. Her design has a lot of soft waves with a full skirt and a petal motif throughout, which kind of makes her look like a princess in a way. And this next character is the third member of the team and also arguably the one I had the most difficulty with. Since we already had Earth and space, the next one was supposed to be ocean, but the ocean is blue but we already have a blue member. So most of the difficulty with their design came from the fact that they were supposed to read as the one with water powers, except their main color couldn't be blue. And so I thought maybe yellow would work because sand is kind of yellow and maybe it would give off more of a beach theme than just an ocean theme. In the original color experiment that I have up in the left, um, I was going for more of a yellow, orange, brown, pink color combination, but that didn't read at all as ocean themed, so I don't really keep any of those colors. But anyways, this is Cure Pearl. Uh, their name is Pearl because pearls are kind of this uh, cream yellow color, and the underside of their skirt is supposed to look like a jellyfish. So here are the sketches that we're working with. You can see that both of them have something that's coming off of their skirt, as well as something on their head to make their silhouette more interesting. For Orchid, it's the bow, and then for Pearl, it's the space buns. Even after simplifying the silhouettes, you can see that Pearl's bubble braids were supposed to make them look round and friendly, 
and then Orchid's waves were supposed to make her look graceful and elegant. But now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the colors. Orchid's colors ended up being pretty easy just because, um, pink. Her primary colors are both white and pink, but her hair is purple just for some contrast. Her colors didn't change too much from the concept sketch, except I desaturated that bright pink a little bit just so she looked more, I don't know, coquette, I guess. One thing about these designs that you don't see in a lot of Magical Girl designs is the inclusion of a really dark color. In this case, it's supposed to look like black, but pure black wouldn't have worked with any of these designs, so it's just a much darker color of whatever their primary color is. In this case, Orchid's dark color is a really dark purple. You can see something similar on the girls from Happiness Charge Precure, which is actually the main design inspiration for these girls, but the one thing I don't really like about these is how they all use the same shade of black, and it kind of clashes with some of them. Another unifying element in their designs is this gold color that they're all using. I really like the contrast in the blue and the gold in Cure Comet's design, and I think it looks really nice in the other ones as well. Overall, Orchid's colors were pretty easy. Lots of shades of pink and purple just to lend itself to the princess motif. I'll struggle a lot with Pearl's colors in this video, uh, mainly with the brown that I ended up using as the sort of black of the design. I think it ends up looking alright, but I just really didn't like it initially, especially how it was used in the concept when I was trying to go for a lighter brown to avoid the harsh contrast of a brown versus a light yellow. But I thought a good way to tie in that brown color would be to make their hair brown. I also thought it would be interesting if at least one of the girls on the team had natural colored hair instead of unnatural colored hair. After this was the struggle of getting them to look like they had an ocean motif because they're kind of looking like Pom Pom Perrin at this point, I ended up giving them blue accents instead of the traditional gold accents that the rest of the designs have. The little pops of blue ended up looking like bubbles, which I really enjoy. I think the pop of blue was good for adding a little bit of contrast, as well as separating them a bit from Comet in their color scheme since both of them have both blue and yellow. So I wanted to use a lighter seafoam blue instead of the dark blue that you normally associate with the ocean. You may be wondering, Lucky, what about their civilian designs? Well, if you're interested in seeing them, they're actually on my Patreon. $2 a month will get you access to pieces like that, which are scrap concepts as well as exclusive sketches. For $5 a month, you can vote for my next video as well as see more sneak peeks and concept sketches as well as sketches for Patreon exclusive art. $7 a month will get you early access to my videos up to a week early as well as Patreon exclusive videos. I actually have a few up there right now. You'll also get an exclusive role in my Discord server and access to a Patreon only chat. And $10 a month will get you all of that good stuff as well as your name at the end of my videos. If you're interested in checking it out, I already have a lot of really good stuff on there. I would really appreciate it if you would go give it a look. But even if you can't support me financially, I still appreciate each and every one of you just taking time out of your day to watch my videos. With that being said, let's get into the final designs. This was the part of the designs where I wanted to really think about how this team would interact with each other, how the world would interact with them, and how they would handle, you know, fighting villains and things. All of them needed to have a role in the team in order to balance each other out and to work together properly, so I figured I'd tell you a little bit more about each of them. Starting with Comet, because I have the most to say about Comet. Comet is the team's leader, they've been a pretty cure the longest, they have the most experience. And commonly in Pretty Cure teams, you would think that the pink one would be the leader. So the society that they're in probably sees Orchid as the face of the team rather than Comet. But I definitely think that that was intentional. I think that the two of them understand that in order for Comet to remain the strategist, that they have to stay out of the limelight so that, you know, villains aren't all up in their plans or something. So Orchid is perfectly fine with masquerading as the team's leader so that everybody's attention is on her. I actually lied, I'm gonna talk about Comet last. Let me talk about Orchid a little bit. I don't have a visual description of what her powers might look like other than light, but pink with petals. 
Her weapon is a scythe, which, get it, she's nature, and she has a scythe. I'm so, I'm so creative, guys. I also mentioned earlier how she's an idol, and I forgot to specify that she's an idol while she's transformed. So, Cure Orchid is an idol. Her civilian form is not. That's also a large part of why she's so popular. She does all these concerts and meetups, and people love her. They listen to her songs, they buy her merch, everything like that. So for her, being a superhero is a little bit of a performance. It's part of building the hype for her idol career. Not that she doesn't care about saving people. Her kindness is genuine, but you know, she knows that she's a celebrity. Moving on to Pearl, Pearl is the newest member of the team. Comet and Orchid were a duo for a little bit until Pearl joined. It's sort of a divine ordainment destined to work together sort of situation, the reason why all three of them look similar and have powers that work well together. Cure Pearl is also the youngest and most inexperienced member of the team. So in normal Magical Girl terms, they're the fun, bubbly, comic relief type character. That's not all there is to Pearl though, of course. They're the team healer, so they have the power to control water, but they can also heal. They're very kind, caring, and smart in addition to being, you know, the quote unquote funny one. So while it's really important to have diversity in your character personalities and the easiest way to do that is by building off of, you know, stereotypes like, oh, this is the smart one, this is the pretty one, this is the fun one. It's really important to give your characters depth outside of that, especially because those personality traits normally correspond to colors. And so when you see a lot of characters with the same color palette who have the same personality, it makes your characters less likely to stand out. And so while normally Orchid, the calm, elegant, beautiful character would be blue coated, Pearl, the fun, bubbly, lively character would be pink coated, and Comet, the smart and reserved prodigy character would probably be purple. Those are pairings you see really commonly in Magical Girl shows, especially in Pretty Cure. But remember that your characters don't have to fall into any of those stereotypes. You can make each character whatever color you want to be and give them whatever personality you want if you think that it fits with their character. Sorry, I went off on a little bit of a tangent there, didn't I? Last but not least, we have Comet, who actually gave me so much trouble when it came to their final design. I wanted all three of them to look like they were in motion, but I didn't know what pose to give Comet. I played around with two or three different poses before I settled on one that I liked. Despite their appearance, Comet actually isn't super flashy, so I didn't really know how to give them a pose that would convey their personality, but also make them look interesting next to Pearl and Orchid. I think the problem was I was trying to have them face the front, so I gave them a kind of diagonal pose where they're kind of facing the side, which I figured would set them apart from the other two. I also made some minor changes to their design. I changed the silhouette of their hair a little bit, but I didn't really make any major changes to their outfit. I don't know if I'm 100% satisfied with it. I might go back and edit these designs a little bit, and if I do, I'll post it on my Patreon probably. I don't think I'd make an updated video with any updated designs, but I'll definitely post them on my Patreon and probably eventually my Instagram and Twitter, so go follow me on there. Anyways, as far as the whole team goes, all three of them are very widely loved and adored. All three of them have their own dedicated fans and fan base and people who love them and buy their merch. I imagine Cure Orchid appears in like photo shoots and music videos and things like that, and I imagine Cure Pearl does too, but Comet probably prefers to stay out of all of that stuff just because they're more of a private person. But yeah, that's those three. As much as I love how the final designs turned out, I felt like they needed something more, something to really make them feel like a pretty cure team. So naturally, I went onto Fiverr, found an amazing logo designer, and commissioned a logo to be made for them. And so after all of that, I am proud to present to you Crystallized Pretty Cure. So these are my finalized designs and I think they turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. 
Honestly, I recommend to any artist who enjoys Magical Girl series to create your own Magical Girl team. I think it's a really good exercise in creating character designs that work well together, but also look different. It's a really good way to practice unity, silhouette, color scheme, but also making Magical Girls is fun. More than anything, this was for me to have fun, and I did have fun, I had a lot of fun, and I hope you had fun watching this video. If you'd like to see more of my stuff, I have my socials in the description. I want to get back into posting consistently, so be sure to follow my Twitter, Instagram, whatever else I have down there in order to get updates about whatever projects I'm working on. If you'd like to see exclusive content, my Patreon is available. Like I said, I have two, five, seven, and ten dollar tiers. And if you subscribe to my ten dollar tier, you'll get your name read at the end of my videos. Thank you so much to my $10 patrons, Ellarista, Puntastic Artist, Little Wolfine, and Full Fledgy. As well as everybody else who has already decided to subscribe to my Patreon. Your support means the world to me. Anyways, I think that's going to be it from me. I have been Inkyo, and I will see you very soon.